I'm Cindo Peterson, one of the ministers at Trillium United Church, and we're here at Five Oaks having another We the Church retreat. It's called an Avoda retreat, where work and worship are one. So we work together and we worship being in this wonderful place called Five Oaks, and we make new friends and we explore the world around us. And in that idea, we thought the theme could be interconnectedness. So we come together and we connect with new friends, we come to Five Oaks and we connect with the place, and we go out and see the world around us and so we connect with creation. And with that idea in mind here on the cusp of the spring equinox, our theme was around the tree of life and all the interconnectedness of bringing up the goodness of the earth and reaching out into the skies. So when we came together, each person was given a puzzle piece to draw their own piece of creation. And then they had to find their teammates and put their beautiful uh, interconnected artwork together. Uh, one of the great outdoor uh, work experiences we had was clearing the trail. And while we were out there working, clearing the trail for Five Oaks, we were also keeping our eyes peeled to see um, elements of nature that we could be connected to, the wildlife. And so Tessa had seen deer out here before. Apparently we were very loud, so we didn't see a lot of wildlife, but we saw the trails of wildlife. Uh, back in our gathering time, we had a quiet tree of life meditation, where the youth were invited to see themselves as the tree of life, rooted in the earth, drawing the nutrients and energy of the earth into themselves and growing up big and strong and reaching out to the cosmos and drawing the energy, the light energy or our God energy into ourselves. And in seeing ourselves as the tree of life, we chose a tree to represent that for ourselves and the youth um, have colored them together and put them on a Celtic wheel. They also made a teeny tiny little shrinky tree of life to remind themselves of this time of being interconnected with one another. Uh, we also were out doing a scavenger hunt. I've got a bit of a scavenger hunt for you in your groups. Finding ourselves connecting in different ways to Five Oaks on the trail or at the bird feeder finding uh, clues and seeing how they can connect themselves in different ways to this awesome place that we call Five Oaks. And of course, what would a Five Oaks youth retreat be without food? So we connected our bodies with some great healthy food. The kids brought great snacks to share as well. Uh, one of the neat projects that we worked on were the Linus blanket projects. So we had fleece blankets that we cut little tags, um, little tails on, I guess you'd say, and tied them up in knots. Again, the symbol of being knotted or interconnected. And these blankets will go off to youth who are hospitalized or um, need an ambulance and need some comfort. So those blankets will reach out and connect in that way. We connected on the Five Oaks playground. Thank you, Five Oaks. That was a great thing. The inner child came out in everyone in a great time was had by all. One of the things that we have done to kind of conclude our time together is that we talked about being connected with each other and knowing that the other is our self. So we drew self-portraits of our other and then shared them with one another. And we brought those little mini portraits together to see that all of us make one beautiful picture of life together. So we're wrapping up time here. We've had some great leadership. We've had some new young volunteers here. We call them peer leadership. So thank you, you awesome peer leaders. And uh, Brian Hershey, who's always my great right-hand person. We can't do these without volunteer help. So if you want to be part of one of these things, just talk to me. I'm sure we can put your talents to work and connect you with everyone else. Or as Jordan would go, make that connection. So see you next time at our next Avoda Youth Retreat.
拜拜。